Russian dictators have been trying to wipe out Ukrainian culture and language. But more than culture and language, it's our freedom that... This is Arthur Brook Reports, a YouTube channel that covers the latest events in Ukraine. It was started by an 11-year-old California boy. You're watching The Worldview with Arthur, and I'm Arthur Brook. The YouTube channel, with just under 300 subscribers, covers news relating to Ukraine and the activities of volunteers from the Ukrainian diaspora in California. Interviews, analysis, fundraising, it has it all. Arthur hosts his show wearing either a bow tie or a vishivanka, a traditional Ukrainian embroidered shirt. Arthur's filming crew consists of his 13-year-old sister Sophia and his father. For, for the, uh, our reports that we do, Arthur is the reporter, uh, he's the talent, and uh, Sophia, his sister, is my assistant cameraman, uh, sound technician, and, and she uh, operates a uh, script manager. And the, um, I'm the producer and the director. <laughs> okay. Arthur's love of journalism started when he was five. He wanted to become a reporter, just like his dad. His father taught him some basics, and Arthur fell in love with the job. After Russia invaded Ukraine, Arthur wanted to report on only one topic. Especially so, since his mother is from Ukraine, and his grandmother and grandfather live in Kyiv. My mother is Ukrainian, and I know a lot of Ukrainians. And I was making reports before this, in, before the invasion happened, on the stand with Ukraine, when they were, when they were when Russia was building up its military forces. I began reporting on that, and then when the actual invasion happened, I knew I had to do something to help, so I began making reports on that as well. San Diego, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Arthur's family crew traveled through California, filming protests in support of Ukraine and interviewing volunteers working with refugees. Recently, Arthur's father came back from Hustomal and Bucha, where he was filming and reporting for work. Uh, I've been working with the state emergency services, uh, with the uh, first responders, um, documenting their uh, dangerous work in this, in this time of war. Uh, uh, the demining activities. Sophia says her life changed after the war started. I really feel like I have a deep responsibility to protect Ukraine in any way I can. The family's goal is to keep attracting attention to the ongoing war in Ukraine, especially since the international community's focus is appearing to fade as the war drags on. For Christina Shevchenko in Los Angeles, California, NRI's VOA News.